All right, it is time for one of my other favorite things about modded arc, and that is the building mods. I love building, and I hate being stuck with some of the boring options that regular arc comes with. Thankfully, we have some amazing building mods, including this one that I'm on right now. This is a floating platforms mod, which has a variety of different floating platforms that you can place anywhere, up in the air, on the ground, even down in the water for a water pen. And they have some really awesome features like these tunnels that'll let me get down to the different areas that I have. So now let's take a look at some of these cool building materials that we have. Um, pretty much all of our maps have the Castles, Keeps, and Forts mod, which gives you several different building options. This is an example of the Villager mod. Um, this is, again, part of Castles, Keeps, and Forts. The Villager look is kind of this clay or adobe look mixed with wood. And there's a lot of great options within this. This does not show anywhere near all of the building options, but it's just meant to give you a quick look at what the different pieces look like. Many of the pieces within this building mod have variants and options that you can change. So I can change up my windows a bit here. I can change up my walls. and it allows for so many different building options. All of these pieces can be painted as well, giving you a whole lot of freedom when it comes to building. If you like castles, this is the keep section of the mod. This is more of a stone castle-like feel. And again, just a quick look at some of the different looks of the mod here. For our structure walls, we pretty much can do cut stone or field stone. We have options within our windows and so on. Um, even our little half walls can be changed up a little bit. Change that one to our uh, field stone and back to cut stone. Our third option is the Settler tier, and this is a more rustic wood look. I personally like using this for building stables and similar structures. And again, as with the others, a lot of options within it. One of my favorites in this particular mod is the sci-fi version. This is more of a composite look using all sorts of different variety of items. We have full window walls here, regular walls, these nifty sliding doors, and it's a much more industrial sci-fi look. Again, everything can be painted. There are structure variants that you can switch between. And we have a color profile. And the color profile will let you go in and change the look of different parts of your items. So I can change the coloring a bit there. And there is also a... Um, a cosmetic gun tool that comes with this mod that you can use to just shoot at different pieces of the build and cycle through structures quickly. Next on the list is SS Glass. We have a large variety of SS options. Um, SS replaces a lot of the basic vanilla engrams and we recommend sticking with just the SS engrams, not the vanilla because it's going to give you a lot more flexibility. 
So these are SS glass foundations and SS glass walls. And let's take a look at some of the cool things we can do with this. I love working with these glass foundations. They have a lot of options. So first thing I'm going to do is go in and I'm going to choose change transparency. In here I can make it opaque so that it is not kind of clear looking down. I can adjust opacity levels here and I'm going to go ahead and leave this one as opaque. Again this can be painted over and change the color. Get very creative and colorful with these. One of my favorite things to do with these, um, particularly if I have a build that overhangs, is to use these to make kind of invisible foundations. If I go in and this time go to select model, I can go in and choose which side or sides I want to show up. So I can tell it I just want a particular side to be showing or one of my favorites, no sides at all. No sides turns that foundation invisible. It's still there, but it looks like it's not at all. This makes it really fun to make floating builds that look like they're not supported at all. You can do the same thing with the glass walls. They do give you some good options. If I go under change transparency here, I have my opaque option. I have my opacity slider, which will let me change how dark my window is. But it also has one-way glass options. So one way in to out, I'm going to go ahead and select that. From this direction it looks like nothing has changed, but if I come around to the other side I can see that this glass wall is now mirrored on one side. I can see out, others can't see in. With this I also have some very handy tools I can use. If I hold N on my keyboard it's going to bring up my multi-tool and I have my model selector. I also have a transparency selector down here. I'm going to start with my transparency selector and when I alt click on that it's going to save this particular model and now if I regular click and shoot at these walls it's going to automatically apply the same transparency. I can also, just like with the foundations, come in here to model, choose my sides. I'm going to go with no sides for this and I'm going to grab my transparency gun again. Um, this time when I hold down N I want to get the model selector And with the model selector I'm going to select my one with no border and then fire at the others to go ahead and get rid of them. That glass wall is still there but it is completely invisible which again allows for some cool builds. This SS glass can also be used for making greenhouses, gives you great greenhouse efficiency. And speaking of greenhouses, these are two items I consider essential for any greenhouse. First up we have the SS Farmer. This guy here is going to collect any poop from nearby animals and give it to a dung beetle if you have it. He can also produce fertilizer in his own inventory if you don't have any dung beetles. Next up is our SS Gardener and what this character is going to do, they are going to collect any items from your crops including seeds and the R seed meat plants. So once you have it set up, put one of these folks up, activate them and they will automatically harvest your crops for you. I also like to pair the SS item collector with them. What this will do is collect any poop, um, dropped items, owl pellets, anything like that from nearby players and dinos and you can set it to automatically distribute 
two characters like the farmer, the gardener, gotchas, and so on. Moving along, we have the popular Jurassic Arc mod. This does not have a lot of building materials, but what it does have is pretty cool. If you want to go the whole Jurassic Park theme, you get this lovely Jurassic Park dino gate, extra large gate, and electric fences. This is the regular sized electric fence, and there is also a behemoth fence as well. This does require power, um, and it works just like a regular electric fence. So those are some of the awesome building mods that are available here on Fractured Earth.